when you flourish in your spiritual life, you flourish in all aspects of life, everything that concerns you. The growth has to begin with your spirit, your walk with the Lord. Hallelujah. Because when you flourish in that area, every other thing follows. And so in 2024, the goal should be drawing closer to God, going deeper in our walk with Him, getting to know Him more. Hallelujah. That should be our first goal and number one priority in 2024 and so the very first thing that's going to help you to walk closely with the father in 2024 is prayer is prayer prayer is a platform where man meets with god or man meets with divinity is the ability to communicate with god communicate with the father communication is a two-way thing you talk to god and you hear back from him so not just speaking to him but you also hear back from him now how does that help you to draw closer to god you can't be close to someone you don't talk to always and someone you don't hear from always if you must have that intimate relationship with a the person there must be a platform for communication there must be a means of communication and that communication must be consistent and so doing this daily is going to help empower fuel your closeness your relationship with the father hallelujah so we are not just praying but we have to do this daily consistently remember what makes the difference is consistency it's not just doing a thing but doing it consistently that is how we get to see results that is how we get to see changes and so in 2024 make up your mind to consistently spend time with the Lord in the place of prayers be there pray and do this every day daily and you will see a powerful breakthrough in your walk with the father and this is very important because like i said um before it's going to help every other aspect of your life hallelujah so prayer is the number one thing the second thing has to do with meditating on god's word daily daily every day this is something that we should do is key now in psalms chapter one this is a very powerful psalm the bible says in verse one Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the part of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. So we have to do this day and night. Blessed is that man who meditates on the word of the Lord day and night when you read the first part of this scripture it talks about you not spending time in the counsel of the ungodly not spending time with the wrong people not having wrong associations or being in the wrong place but rather spending time in the word of god getting your roots deeper into the soil by spending time in god's word daily day and night two times a day actually this is so powerful when you read um you know the the, the last part of this scripture it talks about how that man is going to flourish and now the the, the thing that i'm so happy about when it comes to a man flourishing is this when we flourish it's not just about material blessings which is very good very important it's not just about prosperity but it's about producing the fruits of the holy spirit the reason why we struggle to manifest the fruits of the holy spirit is because we don't have the word of god living on the inside of us or we don't have enough word from the bible or from the father that helps us daily once we have the word of god so rich in us we are not going to struggle when it comes to producing the fruits of the holy spirit that is success in the eyes of god success to man can you know can be a man having a car a building um and all of that but success to god is a man flourishing in his spiritual life producing the fruits of the holy spirit um gradually walking out of the works of the flesh the things of the flesh that is success to god that is success before the father because he's more interested in our soul 
than your flesh, than the things that we can you can get. He's more interested in your soul. Hallelujah. So when you start to meditate on the word of the Lord day and night, you substitute the time you spend maybe on your phone, on TV, on social media, with God's word, with meditating on his word day and night, you will start to see powerful changes, mind-blowing results. Hallelujah. And it helps you to know God. Knowing him is drawing closer to him. Knowing God is drawing closer to him. Hallelujah. So it's going to help you to know him in a very beautiful way, powerful way. And also, I'm going to just add this, you know, to help someone. While you are meditating or you're reading the word of the Lord, please write things down. Keep a journal beside you or a book or whatever you can and begin to write down the things that the Holy Spirit will be teaching you. The things that the Holy Spirit will be telling you. These things are going to help you. Because a lot of times when we read through the word and we close the Bible, we walk away, we tend to forget some of the things that we read except when um, you know, met with certain situations and circumstances and the Holy Spirit begins to to remind us of the words that uh, we read in the Bible. But in order to have a mastery of that which you are reading, it's very important that you write it down. Write it down. So have a jotter, have a book, or a notepad, or, or a notepad on your phone, or in any device that you have, and begin to write things down down this is how you are going to be able to remember quickly what god has told you the things that the lord has revealed to you and also when you start to write these things down it's going to help you to gain mastery mastery now when you want to know someone better you are interested in gaining mastery of that um, concerning that person so when you're in the Bible, you read in the Bible, there are things you're going to see that the Lord loves. You write those things down and there are others you will see he doesn't love. Write them down. It's going to help you in your walk with him. The Lord richly bless you. Hope this video was a blessing unto you. Please on the comment section, let us know the things that are going to help us. Every one of us watching this or listening to this video, let us know the things that will help us to draw closer to the Lord in 2020. And I wish you a prosperous 2024. The Lord is with you and the seeds that he's planting on your heart. You will see them spring forth. They will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Each year here. God bless you. Thank you so much. Love you. Please don't forget to like the video. Share also with someone. Subscribe if you are new. You're welcome to join the family. And I hope to see you in another one by his special grace.